Hello engineers, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to train a self-driving car to drive on a highway using the deep Q learning algorithm. Deep Q learning is one of the first algorithms of the deep reinforcement learning paradigm. We are going to use a highway based simulation environment built on the open AI gym library to train our DQN based agent. First, let's have a look at how the trained agent would look like in the simulation. We are going to use this simulation environment to train our DQN agent. As we can see, this is a three lane highway. The green colored car is our self driving car and the blue colored cars are the other cars driving on the same highway. All right, so let's play this simulation and see what the DQN agent will be learning. This video, as we saw, is just a collection of episodes that is running the DQN algorithm. And as we can see, the self-driving car learns to drive on the highway by overtaking the other vehicles. All right, now let's have a look at how the DQN algorithm learns this and accomplishes this task. As discussed in the previous video, link in the i button above, reinforcement learning is the task of training an agent to interact with its environment. By doing so, the agent arrives at different states by performing actions. Rewards are given to the agent as a feedback for the actions that are taken. The whole point is to learn a policy or a sequence of actions that would help the agent maximize its reward. Deep Q networks or DQ learning is one such algorithm that helps us to learn or find this policy. Deep Q learning is an extension of the simple Q learning algorithm. If the agent knows at each state which action it should perform to maximize its reward, then the agent would simply take that action in each state. Q values quantitatively describe the reward the agent can get taking a specific action in a particular state. Learning this table of Q values is what comprises the Q learning algorithm. In Q learning, the agent is required to explore the environment by taking certain actions to learn the Q table. The Q table is learned using the equation as given over here. This equation relates the current Q values with the future Q values. The agent makes use of this equation iteratively to learn the Q table. Once the Q table is learned, given a state and an action, its Q value is derived. The action having the highest Q value is taken in each state. This Q table method works very well for simple environments. However, this method fails to scale up for large environments. For larger environments, the state and action pairs can be exponential in number. In such a case, a table is not helpful in storing all these different values. Hence, the deep Q learning methods make use of a deep neural network in place of a table. These neural networks help to approximate the values that are present in a Q table. Given a state as an input to such a neural network, the network outputs the Q values for each action. Once again, the agent selects those actions with the highest Q values. The deep Q network algorithm concerns with learning such a deep neural network. 
the neural network also helps in generalizing the definition of the state the state can either be a table of different values or it can be an entire image this neural network is trained using the regular gradient descent methods however to make the training stable for these neural networks certain extensions are also required the first extension is the use of target networks the neural network is trained using an msc loss where the target value is given by this expression the value predicted by the neural network is subtracted from this target value and this complete result is squared which is then used as a loss for the neural network in order to make the training stable for the neural network these two q values are derived from different q networks there is a separate network for calculating the target q value and a separate network for calculating the predicted q value the overall objective is to learn the parameters of the prediction network the parameters of the target network are kept constant and they are replaced by the prediction network after some certain number of iterations the next technique used to stabilize the training is to use replay buffers usually neural networks are trained on batches of training data and the points in that training data are assumed to be independent of each other meaning they have very little or no correlation among them in a naive setting the deep q network can be trained on each individual interaction with the environment however in this setting the training data is provided as a single point and is trained on consecutive data points these consecutive data points may not be independent of each other instead we use replay buffers to store the interactions of the agent with the environment this stored data is then sampled randomly and arranged into batches to train the deep q network randomly sampling the data points makes them independent and training on batches provides stability all right so this is all that we had to discuss for the deep q networks now let us have a look how this algorithm is applied to the simulation all the code that we are going to discuss today is already present on kaggle and the link to that would be in the description box below the first step that we do in this notebook or code is to download the utility functions these utility functions and libraries help us visualize the simulation in the form of a video just as we saw before we are using the highway based environment to train our dqn agent and here we have printed the different configuration variables used for the simulation the action type as we can see is a discrete action there are discrete set of actions that a robot car can take at any certain point of time the reward given to the car for colliding is minus 1 and the reward for driving straight without any collision is 0.4 the observation that we receive from the environment is in the form of tabular data there are other different configuration parameters as well that we can change or use them as default here we are printing the first observation of the environment as we can see this is a table of data containing the x y position and the velocities of the different cars and a self driving car driving on the highway the dq network is going to use this data to learn and to drive the car on the highway there are five available actions that we can take we can either change lanes left or right we can either go fast or slow or we can simply remain to go at the same speed after we have set up the environment we are going to give an idle run of the simulation to see how it looks since the agent was not taking any action in this case hence it collided with the upcoming car for the deep q network 
we are using the stable baselines library stable baselines provide us with the implementation of certain popular reinforcement learning algorithms dqn or dqn network is one such algorithm which is also provided we are initializing the dqn with certain parameters the mlp policy denotes that we are going to train the neural network on tabular data we are also defining the size of architecture to have two layers with 256 nodes each we are also setting the learning rate the buffer size the batch size and the gamma value after initializing the dqn algorithm we are training it for 30000 time steps after the complete model has been trained we are going to use the saved weights and use it on our simulation and finally here we have our trained dqn network running on the same simulation dqn being a weaker algorithm for this particular problem we can see the algorithm fails for some certain situations for some situations like this the self driving car does not know what action it needs to take and it simply collides with the car in front since this is just a simulation colliding with the other car is acceptable in this case all right so this is all that we had to discuss for the dqn algorithm running on a highway based simulation if you like the video press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos and thank you for watching bye